Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at something very, very interesting today. You would have seen it. We want to show you how to download the um, elevation, digital elevation model or let's say digital elevation data from the USM, USM website. If you have any issue related to this, maybe if you have any question, you have comment, you have a contribution, you have an assignment, project that you would want us to assist you or you would want us to guide you, you can always contact us and we are going to get back to you as soon as we can. So without um, spending much time, let's um, see the um, USGS Pet Explorer. So let's see how that goes on your browser. So we have the USGS at Explorer. Then the next thing is what? This is the first link. So that's good. So we have the page that has been loaded. And again, as we said earlier, there are different stuff we can actually do here. So the first thing now is that um, you need to log in. Now, without logging in, you can access some of the information you need. However, you might not be able to download them. And then logging in is very simple. You just uh, create an account. That's the first thing. You click on them, login, then you create an account, and then from there you can move on. So if you are not um, logged in, you might not be able to access or maybe download. Let me not say access. You might not be able to download good. So you either log in or you create a new account. However, we already have them. Um, we already have an account so we are just going to do what we are just going to log in good so we are logged in now and the next thing is for us to go through the process of um, downloading the elevation digital elevation data we want to of the given location so the most important thing is um, this is the blue bar you I say on your screen so you just um, navigate to wherever you want to work. So let's see. And then, okay, we are in Nigeria, right? So let's see somewhere in River State. So we navigate to that um, location. So that's what you're going to do. So if you want to download the digital elevation data of any location, you just use your mouse to, what, to navigate to where you want to download the data. Then you zoom. Yeah, you zoom the in there to the actual location, right? Yeah. Good. So you just zoom into the area of interest or the area of um, concentration where you need, and then the next thing is now you select or you map out or you mark out the area using what using polygon. Now, before we continue, the availability of open source JS data varies from location to location. That is a that's an information that we need to share with you. The availability of um, open source JS data vary from location to location. Now you might not be able to see some information of um, some data in your location. However, the process or the procedure still remains uh, still remains the same. So good. Now the next thing we want to do from here is that. Let's say this is the area we want to work on. Good. So you just navigate to your area of interest. Let's say you have been able to locate the area. It's actually small because by the time you start downloading, you will see that it actually covers the tile, actually covers a very large area. However, without using that as an excuse, we need to know that, okay, we need that of a particular one, particular location. So as I was saying earlier, you can decide to use your mouse by clicking on the point on the screen there. Now we are trying to form a polygon. So what this simply means is that we want to download data within or let's say data of this word polygon. Where this polygon covers. Are we together? That's the data we want to download. The limitation of this in particular is that you might not be able to or let's say you cannot be too sure of where those points are in as much as you can see them on the screen 
just like here, we can see the coordinates. These are the coordinates. These are the coordinates that we are coming up the other side. So these are the coordinates. In as much as you can see them on your screen, you might not be able to be very sure. However, if you are very sure of where the location is, this is how you are going to work. This is how you are going to pick one. You are going to pick your point. And by so doing, you can now proceed to the next step. However, we are not going to use this particular method. Now, if you don't want to use this method and you already have your boundary somewhere, what I mean your boundary, maybe you already have your boundary on Google Earth because we are still going to use Google Earth. Let's say you have your boundary on Google Earth as a KML file or a KMZ file. You can still bring in or import that boundary to this particular uh, website and it will serve as for your boundary. So if you don't have that, and you don't want to go through that process which is advisable which i'm going to advise i would want you to use this so since we might not use this and this is just for explanation that it's another alternative let's try and then remove the coordinate so this is where you can clear all of those coordinates now let's come back to this tab we want to watch import a kml slash ship file we want to upload a KML slash or shapefile. Now you can also bring in a shapefile. However, the condition of bringing in shapefiles is that all I think the three important components or the three most important components must be compressed in a particular in a single file, right? Within a single file and uploaded at once. So without them, um, maybe not wanting to go through that stress, let's just click on. So instead of the shapefile. We are going to import or upload here yeah, KML slash KMZ. So we select that and then we do what? We select file. Good. So we've actually created a folder and then it's actually what? RSU. So it has been uploaded. Okay, for the sake of clarity, we need to explain how we came about that particular um, KMZ we are working with. We actually got it from what from Google it, as you can see from here. So what we did was that something we've been doing on the channel, we try to do what we try to get it using what this particular tool, add polygon. So we clicked on add polygon. Then we use this particular pointer towards to mark out the area. So the next alternative of marking out the area you want to work on, the area whose um, them you want to download, is for you to just come on Google and try to mark out the area. And when you mark out the area as we have done like this, you give it a name. Then you do what? You what? You save it. Are we together? Save places as. So we already have our what our area of interest, which is this. And you can now see the different coordinates. These are the coordinates that um, are surrounding here yeah, or are bounding, or these are the boundary coordinates of our, of our area of interest. Are we together? So, the next thing is for us to now come to the data set. The next thing is for us to what, come to the data set. And what do we mean by data set? This is the data set. This is where the more important stuff is. What we want to download is what uh, digital elevation data, and we need the SRTM. Are we together? We are going to use um, SRTM one at second group, right? So that is the data set we want to we want to download. So upon setting that, remember what we need is what digital elevation data, right? Good, and then SRTM, then what? SRTM one at second global. So upon setting that, I feel we have been able to set what data type. We don't need them an additional criteria. Additional criteria they are actually optional. So some other information you need, maybe not on this particular data set, but maybe in some other data set, you might be able to set a few things under additional criteria. Now let's come to result. The result simply means the availability of good. The availability of that kind of data within what your area of what interest or your location where you've selected so we can only see one data available within that particular location now there are different icons that we can see on our screen but the most important of which we are going to look at today are what we call this um, the the footprint now when you click on the footprint the footprint actually shows you 
where that particular map type should you call it map type or it shows you where that particular um, data you want to download the extent it cover now you can see how small our area of interest is compared to the old data that wants to be downloaded so let's say for adventure you want to download this the digital version data of this particular area and then your area of interest is somewhere around there or maybe it's outside where this particular um, data set covers which means you might not be able to use this particular desire so you just select another type are we together and just select another because we just have one I think this is another um, example of what we meant by the availability of um, open source shared data uh, differs from location to location so maybe in some location you can see more than one maybe two three four five maybe depending on the data type as well so for this particular data type and within this location we, we are able to just see one so if you saw just one you just click on the word show footprint the footprint shows you if the dem you want to download actually covers what your area of interest and you can see our uh, area, a tiny area of interest somewhere within our own name, which means it's okay. Then the next thing is what is to click on what download, right? So you go to the download option. Then you try to download the data. So the most important, or let's say the one we are going to concern ourselves today is this uh, particular one, which we have what um, duty, right? one access on this particular duty file this um, is an image but it's actually geo reference that's why we see geo yeah it's actually the reference so when we click on this download we are going to see that to what we are going to see the procedure the download the process to continue so let's just click on it and then we are going to see that that was downloaded Good. we can see that it's what it's getting downloaded good so we've actually downloaded it and then we've done what we've created the folder from uh, we've created the folder and we've copied it and we've pasted it on the folder so this is the demo for us to be able to visualize it let's now go to QGIS good so for us to be able to know what or how the particular um, them we have downloaded is maybe just for us to work with it we just come to QGIS and then we bring it in on QGIS so we go to what um, we go to there thing is the raster data or it's a T file which is the raster data so we come to what add them um, raster layer right good then we locate where it is Good. We have it here as them. We do what we open and then we add and close. Good. These are them. Now, for us to be sure if what we downloaded was actually okay, we can still bring in that. Um, the boundary we have and that boundary we have is a vector layer right so we come to um, add layer then we come to add vector layer right then we locate where that vector layer is good so you can actually see a tiny vector layer here, which um, the vector data will actually uh, we used as our boundary, and then you can see it's actually within the what within the depth. So because of the coloration, we can maybe decide to change the properties, and then we see just how what file it looks like. So this is the process with which you can download your what your depth. So see this, and then the color. Um, Let's see this. Let me see. Let me see. Let me apply. Let me see. Okay. So we 
have been able to modify the color. So basically, the value ranges from 38, the elevation rather ranges from 38 towards minus 14, which is uh, somewhere around um, the water. So thanks for coming to class. We hope we've been able to provide solutions to this particular solving problem. If you have any issue related to this, maybe if you have any question, you have comment, you have a contribution, if you have an assignment, a project that you would want us to assist you or you would want us to guide you, you can always contact us and we are going to get back to you as soon as we can. So we are going to see you on our next video. Um, until then, keep doing what you're doing and have a nice time. Bye.